Controls in TTG Web Engines are organized into control groups. A control group is usually separated by dark black lines and is labeled uh, in yellow type, which makes it very easy to identify the beginning of a new control group as you scroll through the control panes. So the first control group of consequence here in the site info pane uh, is labeled in yellow, Info for TTG Auto Index. And this is where we feed information into the gallery that will be used by the uh, gallery index, currently available in two separate TTG products, and those are TTG Pages and TTG Auto Index. Now, to quickly give you a sense of what that is, let's jump over to the web. This is a finished layout for a gallery index. Uh, each one of these boxes represents a separate image gallery, which if I click on one, you can see it loads into an image gallery. So the information contained in this box is populated from the image gallery itself, and we give it that information here in the Info for TTG Auto Index control group. So the first two are pretty self-explanatory. We have a field for album title and album description. And whatever text you input into those fields is going to appear in your album index or your gallery index here, where it says album title or album description on this box. Um, you can see just here's a couple that have you know been filled in uh, apart from the default settings. This one is titled Demo01, and the description reads a demonstration of GPS coordinate Google Maps integration. Over here, Demo2 has a different description. Um, so that information resides with each individual gallery and comes from Lightroom. The image thumbnail uh, is randomly selected from that gallery's thumbnails folder. So every time that this gallery index is loaded, uh, it randomly selects one of these thumbnails from your gallery. Meaning that every time someone visits that page, that thumbnail might be different. Um, that's the default behavior, and you leave that behavior intact by leaving the album thumbnail field empty. You can, if you choose, uh, tell the gallery to use a specific thumbnail image every time it loads the gallery index. And to do that, you need to give the gallery a path to that thumbnail image. Now that can be a thumbnail image that is already a part of your Lightroom gallery, or if you'd like to, you can create a separate thumbnail image in Photoshop, uh, copy that into your exported gallery folder, and tell Lightroom where to find it. Um, now that is going to be a lesson for another day, but for the time being I will show you how to use a thumbnail image that's already a part of your gallery. So if we go down to the film strip, you can see that there's a, a path and file name display here in the black bar, and that as you mouse over your thumbnails, that changes. Uh, that file name will lock in on the active thumbnail that you have selected. So let's say I want to use this image of myself as the thumbnail image for my gallery index. So I'm going to select that image here in the film strip. It then displays that image file name here on the black bar. Now if you have any punctuation or spaces other than underscores in that file name, when Lightroom exports the image gallery, it's going to rename your file so that spaces, hyphens, and any other punctuation marks are going to become underscores. And it's important to keep that in mind when we're writing file names for export. So we need to give Lightroom the path of that thumbnail image relative to the root of the gallery. Sounds complicated, but it's pretty easy uh, to do. Thumbnail images are stored in the thumbnails folder. So the first thing I'm going to type is thumbnails, then a slash, and then I'm going to provide the exported image file name. So again, make sure you're, you replace any punctuation with underscores. So the full path is going to be thumbnails, slash, then the name of the file, which is capital IMG, underscore zero four zero nine dot jpg which in this case are also capital letters hit return to lock that in 
And now, when I export this gallery and upload it to my server to appear in a gallery index, this thumbnail will always be used for that index entry. Now again, the easiest way to do this is simply to fill in the album title, the album description, and to use the thumb leave the thumbnail blank. Uh, that's really all you have to do. Um, the last field over here is album URL, and that should just be left blank all the time. Uh, please don't worry about it, and the gallery index will do its job indexing your galleries.